The Legend of Korra. This will be uh, episode six. No, ten. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was looking at my schedule and I'm posting episode six tomorrow when this video comes out, uh, which means I am on episode ten on Patreon, which means if you're watching this on YouTube right now, m you, you can just see how far ahead I am on uh on my Patreon account. So it's absolutely worth jumping on there. Not to advertise this early in the video, but it's absolutely worth jumping on there uh, to get those extra episodes right now. Um, I actually did that uh, very recently with another YouTube channel. And uh, I'll talk about that to my full length people, full length patrons. That'll be a secret story for them. It's not a big story. But Cor Legend of Korra, let's just do this. Season two, episode 10. Last time we entered the spirit world, we saw Iroh again, which was pretty awesome. Um, and I mean, we're in, we're in trouble because I'm pretty sure things did not go great. So, um, so I'm keen to jump into this one, see how it goes. How many episodes we got left? So this is episode 11. We're actually on episode 11 and I said 10. <sighs> I'm so stupid. I'm so bad at this whole YouTube thing. I can't wait to quit. Um, there are 14 episodes of this. Uh, so we've got four episodes left, including this one. I am keen as a bean and we're going to jump into season two episode 11 please support the video if you can here we go let's do it chapter 11 night of a thousand stars that's a cool title feels like it has a lot of meaning not with good news no god her spirit is trapped in the spirit world. Don't worry, honey. I'm not going to stop until our little girl is back God, safe you gotta go us. to the spirit portals. That's, I feel like that's the only way, right? Yeah, everyone's gonna be there, except for, you know, you. Well, he knows that. Because you're in jail. <laughs> Thanks for the Come reminder. Come on, Berlin. Hey. Dear Mako, Nuck Tuck says keep smiling. <laughs> no. You can hide your I escape route by behind the you my sincere, heartfelt words of encouragement. I want you to know that I will always be there for you. We are brothers well, after nice. all. Even if one of us is a member of high society and the other one is a criminal. <laughs> okay. I'm not a criminal. <laughs> ah, I see what you're doing. You're going for the insanity defense. Aww. Smart. No. <laughs> Boylan's going to be so frustrating seems. for them. Where's Asami? Lately. She'll listen to me. Being in jail like this reminds her of her dad. Oh, really? Okay, got to run. That surprises I me. Tomorrow. I thought she would have come to see him. The best attorney Unless she's doing something else behind the scenes. I promise. Whew, that insanity defense is definitely going to work. Oh my god, Berlin. <laughs> Varric chose the right person to manipulate. Should we wait another day? Whew. That's pretty sick. Them creating like snowboards. That's awesome. I like how Korra's dad seems like snowboard inspired. You know, that's how his he bends. It's very cool. It's the sweetheart of the big screen and Republic City's most famous couple, Bolin and Ginger. Wow, they called them a couple? I'm sure Ginger isn't happy about that. Wow, that but you're as dumb as the rocks you bend. That's... We are not a couple. That's true. That's not what Shiro said. <laughs> the very cakes and get to your post. You got it, boss. You oh, you didn't have to drop it. Refinement. President Raiko and the First Lady Buttercup Raiko just arrived. And Her name's Buttercup? By entrepreneur extraordinaire. The finest entertainers from Ba Sing Se and the best food from around the world. Heck, I even had this red carpet imported from the Fire Nation. <laughs> Damn. Made the best red stuff over there. <laughs> All right. Makes sense. Time. One look at your wife. And I knew that you were a man of exquisite taste. <laughs> and that's why he's I good at sweet talking love people. This mover. To change my mind about going to war with the Northern Water Tribe. Oh, I think you made me a smart man. How persuasive I can be. Aren't there people sitting behind the screen? Or are they like projecting it on both sides? But then aren't there people on the side of the screen that wouldn't be able to see it? Of Nuktuk, hero of the South. This seems like a terrible you place know, to watch this project, like a there movie. There were a lot of naysayers out there to hear what they have to say. They speak of the injustice that's happening in the Southern wow. World Tribe right now. He's getting serious. My hope will inspire a real life hero to rise up and help. Damn. Enjoy the show. 
That was, I think, the most serious we've seen him. Even when he's he being like villainous. Unalog's dastardly pet bird and decided to seek out counsel. Thank you, wise sage. Oh my god. I will go city and seek help. Have a seat. I'm just working on a cure for the common cold. Little <laughs> mice, did you say help? If there is one thing I love doing, it's helping people. Oh my god. The seal lion seemed a bit far fetched, but the betrayal of this president is right. Is this really all it's going to take to convince him? Ah, uh, oh my God! I just try to shove the whole thing in my mouth at once. Oh my God! Must destroy Oh my God! They're like the Daleks. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant filmmaking. Don't mix. Beep, bop, boo. Oh, no. Brandon actually Perfect seems like he's getting to be a better here. actor. Look, no. Oh, no. I got to be <laughs> your friend. <laughs> <laughs> the licking of the <laughs> finger. Aww. Then what's wrong? I guess I just miss my friends. Yeah. Everything is going so well for me, but you have no one to share it, it with. Empty without everyone around. Yeah. Oh, you notice That's the empty weird. boat? So you gotta realize that that Marco was right. Oh. You don't have to help those two. No, no, leave him there. The president. <gasps> oh, makes sense. Yo. Too late, Nuk Soon what are they gonna do? Replace the president with the, the actor president? Uh, I don't think so. Oh my god. I don't think Hell yeah! Ah! Nuk Tuck's here! Wow, they're gonna watch a live performance of him saving the day. <laughs> Hell yeah, man! Oh my god! Look at him! And he's doing it like this is his home arena. Looks like there's nowhere to go. Oh yeah, come on. You got this. Woo! This would be so much more entertaining than the mover. <laughs> wow, I love the way they're animating. Wow! Bolin has never looked cooler. Oh, and the way it lines up with what's happening on the mover is awesome. This is unbelievable. That's really clever. Nice. It was Varric. Please don't hurt me, Nuktuk. <laughs> I like that they call him Nuktuk. This is our cue to exit. Where do you think you're going? Yeah! Yes! Woo! I'm so glad they gave Bolin, like, all of this, you know? I think he deserved to have, like, a badass fighting moment where he's just fighting on his own, so... Oh my god! That's terrifying. He's one of the best. Mm. Oh, she's interested I now. My boyfriend is a real life hero. <laughs> we are as dumb as those rocks. Of course we're a couple. Now that you're Bolin, famous you and president. showed that you're amazing. Marco was right all along. Go tell him what happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <bet> right now. <laughs> That's very funny. He wants to destroy the whole world. Mm hmm Now you'd be an extra dick if you didn't jump in and help. Unalak is gonna Even with the your world. help, it's gonna be tough. He really... I'm sorry, Cora, mm. but my answer is still no. Oh god. There are lives on the line. Raiko, you must reconsider. Also, I your own lives life. are on the line. I need to protect my citizens. I'm sorry. But Sir, you can stop it from going into chaos. Your help. Fan of your work, but my decision is final. Damn. If you guys need help, I'm here for you. 
Yeah, me too. Hell yeah, Team Avatar. It's so good to see you guys. Get Team again. Avatar back together. Where's Marco? Wait, where's Marco? Because of you and because of me. Let's just say we both did good. Bayfong you kind of did both go. do good. Actually, you both did well. Sorry Superman does good. Oh, but worry, you also bro. did good. Never mind. No. Wow, even nice the douche job, cops are, You're going to make a or one of them, detective. are applauding. But Chief. Oh, Asami's face dropped so quickly. Marco, I missed you so much. Oh. Cora's back. Cora. It's not really Cora's yeah, fault. She doesn't you. know that Asami and so you're not still Marco married? had a thing. Why would I be mad? <laughs> She's so cute. Before you left? I got attacked by a dark spirit, and I lost my memory for a little while. Right, yeah, so Maybe she... it hasn't all come back yet. Oh, no, it so she just thinks thing. they're still together? Uh, oh. Uh, wasn't that bad. Ah, oh, it's so horrible. It's such a sucky situation. Uh, we don't have much time. <laughs> Guys, hey, what do you think? Varric Industries. <laughs> oh my prison, God, are you kidding me? This cell made special. I had a feeling I'd end up here one day. <laughs> Julie, and this isn't a friendly visit. Don't tell me you guys are still mad about everything that happened. <laughs> I did some good it just things happened. Too. I did. Marco, who got you thrown in jail? I <laughs> oh yeah, I guess that was bad. Thing. <laughs> That's great. There's so much good humor in this episode. And tried to kidnap the president. Yep. They're both cold, heartless war machines. Oh my god. Your tea, sir. Let me make it up to you. Take Julie. <laughs> my battleship. It's yours. And All everything right. on it. Team Avatar is back in business. Ha <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so that was a cute few frames they had. Asami and Korra were both smiling in the same shot, which is nice. It's okay. Oh no, he's not gonna be fine, is he? Wow, this scene looks really good for some reason. The animation is on point right now. I'm going to end this. Oh right no. Now. Oh Go. no. The animation's really good right now. Looking for me. You had me banished. Yes, I did. Oh. No, this is bad. Oh my god, it looks so good! Look at- look at this shit! Holy shit! Oh, Unlock did look scared for a second there. Oh god. Is he okay? Now that I've defeated you, your daughter is next. Oh my god. Whew. That was a great episode. I, I think that there was some really cool stuff in that episode, I would say. Like, there's... Uh, what do I even talk about? I, I mean, well, first, I'll talk about Bolin. Because Bolin had, like, his moment. You know? Like, he... He's had moments beforehand but they've been very like his moments have been like five to ten second moments you know um we know he's a good earthbender but we don't get to see it super often uh without it being immediately overshadowed by something Cora or Marco does you know because they are also very good benders and so Bo Lin hasn't shown off too much of his like bending skills um the main thing that we've like figured out with Bolin was that he's very in sync with Marco and so a lot of the time when he does something cool it's because him and Marco are working together with something but here he's just completely alone it's just him 1v3 or 4 or however many people it was and he just destroys them and it he looks awesome doing it you know he looks uh he looks buff he looks cool uh he just destroys them purely with earth bending so it's very cool to see that, and it's cool that other people got to see it as well. Um, because, yeah, it's kind of, like, sad that a lot of the fame and stuff went to his head. But, like, he worked himself through that, you know? I think it's also kind of nice that he didn't necessarily have to be humbled too much to work through that. 
a lot of characters will need to be humbled before they uh, have character development. I think actually that is something, it's a very minor, uh, a very minor thing and something that I don't think a lot of people would even think about. But like the idea of like having these characters with these heavy flaws and stuff, the very, like, the easiest thing to do in a script and the simplest thing to do and the thing that makes the most sense story-wise a lot of the time is for a character to have this negative trait and then they're humbled because they, like, they do it, it goes really wrong for them and they learn that it's wrong. But I think it's a sign that these characters are pretty emotionally mature by having these characters have this negative trait and things are going fine for them but they realize even as it's going fine for them that it's not what they want and then they change their behavior and i think that is like that's pretty admirable and they've done it several times i think i've mentioned it in the past with with how like that happens with cora a lot where where i think there are times when cora like is being pissy and <laughs> and um and bratty and yelling at people and then she's proven right but she still apologizes for her, her behavior same kind of thing here where bolin like everyone still loves him he still has all the fame um and like and yet he still you know like ends up learning a lesson from it and like i know the thing was that marco was proven right because of like you know he found out that varric was trying to kidnap the president or whatever but I, I would argue Bolin was already had already changed before he found out about that. He changed when he went outside and was talking to Asami and saying, "I this doesn't feel right because not everyone's here. Team Avatar's not together, you know." So I think that's sweet and and very nice that they did that because it would have been very easy to just have Bolin like be completely embarrassed or you know have things go really wrong for him, and it would have been kind of sad, especially since a lot of this. A lot of his flaws kind of come from stupidity, you know? Like, it's he's just ignorant. He just, he doesn't know much better. Um, where I feel like some other characters, they should know better when they have these, like, major flaws. Um, but Bolin, I just straight up feel like he does, he straight up doesn't understand. <laughs> and that's a very different thing. Um, man, you know what? That whole sequence of... Like, Korra and Marco have a terrible fight. They break up. Korra goes away. In that time, Marco and Asami have a bit of a connection. And I don't know if they officially, like, got together. I don't think they would. Because, look, I feel like if they, like, officially were back together, she should have gone and visited him in prison, you know? Like, obviously, she said it brings up um, bad emotions with with her father and stuff and i understand that that's a trauma that that uh she has you know deep inside of her and i wouldn't blame her for that but at the same time you know he's in prison and has no one that that's supporting him right now much less uh like you know with bolin like bolin went in so i guess maybe she she just thought bolin will uh keep him happy or whatever or like be his support system but i think if they were dating i feel like asami should have gone in and and you know seen her boyfriend in prison but um but let's throw that to the side and let's just say that they were kind of together you know they were they were in the early stages of getting back together and then cora comes back but she has had amnesia problems so she doesn't remember the fight they have all she remembers is that they were in a pretty happy relationship with some, you know, bumps or whatever, but, uh, but generally a pretty happy relationship. And then, like, and then she just, like, kisses him, and now it's this horrible situation where it's like, Cora doesn't know that they're not together. Cora thinks that like you know hey i'm finally with my boyfriend again so it feels really sad if he's just like you know we broke up right like because she doesn't remember doing the like doing the things and having the fight and all of that so that would be really depressing for her you know amidst all of this is being like well apparently i don't even have my boyfriend anymore and i don't even remember why 
But at the same time, with Asami, it feels like every single time she finally has something going with Marco, Korra swoops in there and takes Marco from her, you know? So that also really, really fucking stings. And it's so sad because, like, Asami deserves to be happy. But, like, Korra is so cute. Like, there was a... Like, in that scene, there was a, like when she like kissed him and and was talking to him and stuff i think it was so cute and i want to i want to see that scene uh again for a second i think it's it's here is this is this where it is um hey i i missed you too so you're not still mad at me why would i be mad yeah that like that is that is so cute. Look at that innocent face. <laughs> that's like a super sweet, innocent Cora. Like, that's a Cora who's in love and adorable. Huge props to Janet Varney as well. Janet Varney's voice, like, I just love it. I, I love the way, way she comes across. Like, people watch this show and they hate Cora. I know she's, I know she's harsh and she's bratty and, um, and she, you know, can be hypocritical and stuff. But I mean, look at this girl. How do you, can you hate that face? Look at her. I love her. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway. Uh, any, was there something else I wanted to talk about? Varric was very funny this episode. I love the bit where he was like going through and being like, Hey, you know, I saved this for you. And I also did this for you. And I did this for you. And Marco, I was the one who threw you in jail. <laughs> it was really funny. There were so many good jokes in this episode. Um, what does this say? Something versus oh the mover versus real life. Yeah, I liked the um the fact that when Bolin was fighting, there was the mover going on in the background, and like each shot was on on the big screen was the same thing that was happening in the on the stage. That was a really nice touch, I think. Um, but yeah, there were so many like funny jokes in this episode. I think the humor in this episode was like really high tier we've come a long way from the fart jokes of uh of season one anyway um so thank you for watching this episode of the legend of Korra. um this was a this was a great episode i really enjoyed it and the animation at the end there with the fight between unlock and the father oh that was great um thanks for watching please support the video if you can subscribe to the channel and my patreon account is in the description below uh which has early access so you can get probably the rest of the season on there right now um and full length videos early access exclusive videos you can request a reaction if you join my vip tier so there's a lot of stuff over there that you can check out thanks for watching i'll see you next time goodbye